would come out Come on down Come on down because we have over 550 pieces of art representing 272 artists, which is an all-time record. Yeah. <laughs> 
What is Troy? Okay. Tell us what Troy is, really truly. Troy's where the nerds, the ambitious, the hopeful find each other. And they find a place that was kicked around a bit and is coming back to life. And Troy is that point where people can come from wherever they've been and they can start a new adventure. Yeah, it's I a like really that. freaking magical place. I didn't grow up here. I didn't know anyone when I moved here. Troy is a really special place. Okay, so we are here at the uh, Art Center of the Capital Region, and we're talking with... Jane McCamley. Okay, and you have some work in here. I do. And what is it? Would you like to see it? I'd love to see it, sure. <laughs> Ah, it's a three-dimensional collage. It is. It's yeah. um. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Thank you. It's uh. It's a book that's been hollowed out, and then you filled it with various uh. There are images. Images. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. From advertising, it looks like. And is this sea captain a hero of ours? Yeah, this is a book about um, the Titanic, and I just, oh. you know, I carve out all the books that I saw in this picture, and I just thought, well, I can't really get rid of that. I like Tim, so. Um, yeah, so it's a book about Tim. Yeah, he was, uh, he was sort of an innocent bystander in the whole thing. You know, yeah. Was he? Was yeah. He I of? found the little caption to be pretty, like, dramatic and interesting. Oh, what does it say? Read it for it us. It says, of the ill-fated giant of the sea, a brave and seasoned commander who was carried to his death with his last and greatest ship. Wow. That's right. He went down with his ship. That's he what did. you're supposed to do. Yep. It's yep. hard to imagine anybody yeah. doing that today. Yeah. So it's kind of like that idea of like... A you know, noble knows. honor, right, right and yeah. wrong, yeah. and being on the right side of yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. So here we go. We are at Troy Clock and Paper. And tonight, at Troy Night Out, we're putting up 3D posters. 3D posters. How does that work? Well, you'd be surprised how uh, 
how normal it is. You just, 3D is all about the two colors. Two complementary competing colors. And, um, print one of them. the second one. And there we have it. All right. Blue. That's what I'm thinking, or somehow to, uh... dollar that you ever earned. Yep. Our neighbor came. Fantastic. So how much is the lemonade? 50 cents. Can I get one? Sure. Okay. What do you have to do? Do you like a straw? Um, don't really need a straw, thanks. Okay. Here's this. Here you go. Okay. How much change? Um, you change 50 cents back. Well, great. What do you say? Thanks for buying this lemonade. Okay, thank you for being so entrepreneurial and um, taking the initiative, setting up the stand. Uh, I'm sure you'll go far. But there, there was, you know, then I, that was like four years ago. Then I would hang the work up and just go with, you know, how much garlic I had. How I would hang. But as far as like anything specific, it's evocative of a lot of things. If you ever get to shoot the whole thing in a circular, I'm getting ready to take all this down. There's like 600. It was a good year. They all look very healthy and lush. Well, what happens is every year I started with 80 heads, and you, each one of these you get four or five. Uh, and it's right now a clove is one. You get four or five cloves out of a head. So I, I, I bought 80 heads, which cost me about 20 bucks. And then I planted them. 80 
times four, three. And multiply. Yeah, but only a little bit because this plant, you can eat three head, three cloves, and plant one. And then you end up with what you had. Uh, so if you plant two, you doubled your crop, but you have to give half of it back. Does that make sense? Sure. So now, after six years, I'm up to 650. And I, as I said, every year I, I, I just hung these up in a space when I had about 120 a couple of years ago. And they, somebody thought it looked like a Hurrian giant sculpture. I paint. Uh -huh. they, people were more taken by the sculpture piece than my paintings. So, yeah. <laughs> so that every year I have more garlic and I play with the idea. And every year I hang it differently. What is it about art that um, speaks to you or makes you want to share it or whatever? Well, with this work, I've always been drawn to cartoons. So, like, Scooby-Doo is a huge influence to me. Um, okay. And when I was little, I never wanted to draw in my coloring books, like, color in them, because they would ruin the image. So I would actually trace the image itself and then color that. So then I had the original. And cartoons are always um, the end with a happy ending, yeah. right? Yeah. And it, it's up, uplifting the message, whatever it is. Very much. And I think that just makes working with them happy. Because you're like, oh, I remember this. Or you just remember going to see that movie. And it was a, a nice time. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for coming. Yeah. So tell me what this is again. What is this again? This is a section of the legendary Black Light Room in Phi Sigma Kappa. It was created in 1970. So when I lived in the room, there were certain posters and stuff that were part of the original installation that were gone and just had white areas. So I co actually completed the room when I lived there. So it's interesting 27 years later to be the one that's restoring it. So the historian archivist keeping it alive guy. Exactly. <laughs> Yes, I am. 